as it goes uh, to my dismay we have finally moved into an apartment in town and one of the apartment rules is no pets now I don't consider any of the animals that I have around me at any point in time a pet uh, and I also don't really abide by somebody else telling me what I can and can't do no matter how small and trivial and I have Salazar which is the salamander and uh, also a, a small turtle uh, which I've had with me for a week or so but they're not pets and I don't treat them as pets I guess uh, well I guess they're prisoners really <laughs> anyway uh, I was gonna go ahead and keep them uh, because other people are not gonna tell me what I can and can't do no matter who they think they are except for my wife my wife is not too happy uh, about my belligerent disregard for rules and and regulations now she can deal with it sometimes but even she has limits so when it comes down to it uh, I'm releasing them into the wild so thought I'd bring you guys along Let's move him closer to the water's edge. There we go. And I'm going to release the turtle as well. Now, some of you who may see this turtle may complain and bitch and say, well, that's not legal to have anyway. Well, you know what? I can give a rat's ass what legal is. Oop. There, he's he's away as well. Okay, it's done. Uh, now, as far as the turtle is concerned, uh, I've only had that turtle for a couple few weeks, and. Uh, yeah okay now Salazar on the other hand that's that's a different story I kind of you know just kind of feel like you know well I miss him already <laughs> I mean, this is truth yeah uh, I found I found uh, I found him in a gas station parking lot in South Dakota and uh, I've had him since that South Dakota trip and I really wanted to keep him and and I would have kept him and I wouldn't have had no problem with it but Michelle uh, sometimes Michelle gets upset with my my brandishing with my lack of respect for the law um, to me, the law uh, is nothing more than another mechanism that people who want to take charge of your life does so by brandishing rules and regulations upon you, whether, whether or not for in, whatever reason, good, bad, or indifferent. I'm not, uh, not going to discuss the validity of any law but rabbit but the the basis of all laws whether they're good or bad or indifferent the basis of all laws is control plain and simple and uh, uh, I was doing no harm uh, as a matter of fact uh, if I had not picked up Salazar in that parking lot uh, 
most likely he would have gotten ran over by a vehicle. So, in my, my point of view, I saved his life. Uh, same with the turtle. I found that turtle on a bike trail. Uh, potentially, potentially could have got ran over by a bike. And both of them could have been killed by predators in the wild. So, my point of view is that I was actually helping them and keeping them safe. Now, is it my place to do so? Uh, well, no, not really. But they were placed in my path. And if there is a such thing as a higher being that let's say knows all, sees all, that sort of crap, uh, knows my point of view. So knows in me finding them, that's exactly what I would do. So if there is a such thing as a higher being in that way, then by being placed in my path automatically places them under my protection or in my menagerie because that's exactly what I'm going to do, and anybody who knows me knows that. So, anyway, they're gone now. They're back in nature, uh, never to be seen again by me, I'm sure. Whether they live or, or not is no longer, I guess, my concern. Although I do miss Salazar, I will say that. <laughs>